Welcome to the next lesson, Automatic List Building with Package Inserts. And here's what we'll be covering. The good news about selling on Amazon. Why do we want to build our own list? What are package inserts and why are they so powerful? We'll go over some proven package insert offer templates. How to get your package insert designed for just $5. And then we'll go over instructions for your supplier to tell them exactly what to do with your inserts. First, some good news. In order to buy a product on Amazon, customers have to have a valid email address. And because they're buying something on Amazon, that means they're already prone to buying more products online. That's great news for us. However, there is some bad news. Amazon does not share that email address with us. That means that we have to do our very best to start building our own email list from those customers starting on day one. So why do we want to build our own email list? Well, getting customers who buy from you on Amazon onto your own email list opens up a world of opportunities as a business owner. For example, you're able to email them at any time to do one of the following, share valuable content with them, offer them early opportunities on sales and new product launches, and even reach out to them to ask them for feedback on existing products and future products that you're considering launching. Each of those benefit both you and your customers, which is the true win-win situation. Now just imagine what having a list of 1,000, 5,000, or maybe even 20,000 plus targeted buyers could do for your business. Now it's important to keep in mind the following. The actual percentage of customers who take you up on your offer and provide you their email address will be very low. Anything even close to 10% is great. We typically get anywhere between 3 and 5% and are happy with that. Now, the two biggest factors in maximizing this number are the following. Making the offer as easy as possible to get, so as few steps as possible that the customer needs to take, and provide them an easy URL to go to. Also, make sure the offer is as compelling as possible. Basically, look at yourself and ask how badly would you want that offer in exchange for your email address. If you're not familiar with package inserts, take a look at the picture on the right. Let's imagine that mat is the product that you're selling. You have your own custom design label wrapped around it, and the supplier has put the entire product in a poly bag. Well, you're free to add an insert card or anything you want on the inside. It goes on the inside of the poly bag right with the product, and then when the customer opens up the package, they see and read your card. And on this screen, here's some good examples of some inserts you might see. They can be anywhere from business card size up to postcard or even bigger. But why are they so powerful? We'll take a look at the following cycle of events. First, a customer orders your product on Amazon. Then, the customer receives that product. Then the customer opens it up, sees your insert, and registers their email address with you. Then later on, you notify them about a sale, and once again, the customer orders something else from you on Amazon, and the cycle repeats. This is an incredibly simple way to get free sales and also help with all types of future initiatives such as product launches and product research. Now, if you don't know what to put on your inserts, don't worry, we got you covered. We have three sample inserts that have been proven to be effective. On side one, here are three different options. Option A could say, thank you, please read the back of this card before using this product. Option B could say, stop, you must read the back of this card before using this product. And the third option would be, congratulations, you've earned a special free bonus from, and you would insert your brand name, and then flip this card over to get it instantly. Now keep those three in mind, because now we need to print what's going to show up on the back of the card. So on side two, for the first option, you could put, here's a 20 up to 40% off coupon. Simply ask them to enter your email at a specific URL that you're going to create. And in this example, we're using www.mysite.com slash offer, and then get it instantly. You also want to put in some scarcity, tell them that it expires soon because you want them to claim it right away. And then you always want to tell them that they're going to get something special, such as exclusive access to future discounts, including free products by registering. Option B is similar. You want them to go to that website to get a special report that maybe shows them how to get a lot more out of the product that they purchased from you. And then once again, tell them that you're giving them some exclusive access to future discounts. And then option C, you may want to use the increasing of their warranty as a benefit. Let's say you automatically give them five-year warranty. Well, if they send in your email, offer to give them a 10-year extended warranty. Now, don't worry about writing these down. They're actually all included in the document attachment below this video. 
One thing to keep in mind is that the website listed under package insert needs to point to your own website and lead to a lead capture page. Now, if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Rich Henderson will be covering that in the very next module. And there's no need to set it up right now. You actually don't need to have that lead capture page on your website set up until you start selling. If you want to get fancy, you can even purchase a specific URL, such as ninjaspatulaoffer.com and have it redirect to any page on your website. If you want to get your insert designed for just $5, go to amazingsellingmachine.com slash five. That'll bring you right to Fiverr, which is the exact same site that Rich Henderson talked about when getting your logo created. You simply search for business card design, and then once you find someone to have your design created, you'll send that final design to your supplier. Speaking of your supplier, here are the instructions you'll need to give to them. First, your supplier should be able to print these cards out for no more than 20 cents each. If they're quoting you any more than that, you'll want to look to get them printed elsewhere. You'll ask them to put these cards into your product packaging, and it's important that they do this before shipping the products to Amazon. Once your products are at Amazon, Amazon will not do this for you. So what do you do if your supplier doesn't print cards like these? We well, still have an option. Look up business card printing or postcard printing on Alibaba. Find a supplier who can have them printed there and then have them mailed directly to your supplier where they can then insert them into your product packaging. Now let's review what we learned in this lesson. We learned why building our own email list is so important, what package inserts are and why they're so powerful. We covered some proven package insert offer templates and how to get your package insert designed for just $5. And then we learned how to instruct your supplier on what to do with your inserts. Now it's time to take action and go get your product inserts designed. Then I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll figure out exactly how much inventory to order for your first batch.